All right, guys. So when I was doing a print, I uh, got a thermal um, protection shut down or a thermal runaway, and uh, now my this bed is inconsistent. So you can see like the burn burn connector. All right. So yeah, my, I was printing back earlier. And basically, this thing. Um, I even actually had the, the the cable brace on there. The X. Where to go? One of the cable braces that actually goes on there to kind of. It's designed to kind of help to protect the connector from hitting that thing, and it still hit it and jacked it up. I don't know what exactly happened, but um, so now I'm not getting a reading. Even the thermistor, I tested it and it was fine. It was getting continuity, but I'm actually gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna directly solder this on on the board, and then I'm gonna cut and add some other connectors down here because this is just like this is like a death trap, or you know, you know that right in front of the wheel right there, the belt. Not a really good design. At least I should have had a cover over this thing. And I, I think I can print out a cover for this thing. But, uh, so yeah, now I gotta fix that before I can start printing again. So, alright. Alright, guys, so my epoxy is dry under here. I directly soldered those on the board. And actually, originally I had ripped off a couple traces. The same thing, man. Like the, the box fell and it ripped off the connector off the board. But uh, that was a different problem. And I had fixed it, but like I said, this last one, that I don't know what happened to the connector, but. So directly soldered on, I epoxy the wires on there after I soldered them. And then I'm going to use uh, some of these, because uh, I still want to be able to disconnect this this cable if I, if I have to. So I, uh, I'm going to use these, these are actually found on like, ham radios a lot. These, uh, I thought they were called like Anderson power poles, but maybe not, I'm going to wrong. But that, I'm going to use this for the hotbed, and I'm going to use this for the uh, uh, thermosistor. So I can still, you know, connect and disconnect there. All right. All right, guys, there it is right there. So the epoxy looks pretty good. I also put some shrink wrap. And I also had the epoxy go inside the shrink wrap. And I tried to make it sort of at an angle like that. And those are the connectors. And they'll just clip right on there like that. So I can remove the bed if I want to remove the bed. So, yeah, I did test all the continuity, so it's... it's Definitely looking good here, so. All right, guys, back in business. Back in business. Bad lighting. <laughs> 